So we've got this, uh, the, part, the captain's up here, he's shooting at us, and um, that's just fine. We want to be able to shoot him, uh, and I also want to make it so he's not just one shot, it's going to take three hits to kill him. So let's do that. So we have some options here. I'm going to show you what I, no, you could do, but it doesn't actually help very much, because of course in the behaviors, and add a new behavior, search new behaviors, there is actually this health one. Uh, we can use that. It doesn't actually give us very much, and I want to learn about instance variables anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So instance, each thing is an instance. This is an instance of a cannonball. This is a different instance of a cannonball. And what we're going to, what we can have, you see here, instance variables. Each individual one can have its own um, variable. So each individual one has its variable and it's got its own value. So for instance, I'm going to be copying and pasting this pirate and putting a few of them in my scene. And I want each of them to have a separate health. So they each have to take three hits exactly to get rid of them. So um, we have to be a bit careful. This is an instance. So if I go in here and start editing its instance variables, I'm only applying to this one. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over to Captain, and this is like the template. This is the one that we make all the captains from. And I'm going to edit object variables here, add a variable, and I'm going to call it health. And it needs to be a number. And we're going to start with it at zero. We're going to go backwards for reasons which will become clear. So we have start at health zero and it goes up one, two, three, etc. So where are we? So a level one events, we're going to have when we shoot the player. So cannon, uh, not cannonball, bomb is what I'm shooting. And when that collides with the pirate, the captain, I should say, uh, the action is going to be, normally of course we just delete the captain, but that makes him one hit. Instead, we're going to change the value of his health. So somewhere down here, is the, there's value of an object variable, not text, the value, that's the number. So the health, we're going to add one to his health. All right. So that doesn't do anything yet because, the, of course, the player doesn't see that health. But what we can also then do is we can check what is that health. So we can say, Captain um, is, we can check against his variable, value of an object variable is the health equal to, let's say, three. And if it is three, then we can delete the captain like that. So that will work. That will give us um, three hits on him. I'm also going to be a little bit careful. Uh, you, uh, I'll show you if there's a problem with this. It won't work. Um, but I think it's quite an instructive problem that we will see um, often in class. Pe very often students have this exact error where I have not deleted the bomb. We'll see what that does. So here I am, the, uh, the pirate is shooting at me. Let's get up there so I can shoot at him as well. And up we go. So I shoot once and he's dead straight away. And the reason is the bomb, as it goes along, I don't delete it when it touches the pirate. So the way this uh, event sheet works is it does, it checks every single one of these events every frame. So the bomb collides with the captain, yep change the variable health, add one to it. And then the next frame round, exactly the same happens because the bomb still exists. It's still in collision with the captain. So we uh, so uh, three times in three frames, so that's one twentieth of second, the, va the health value goes zero, one, two, three, and bam, we've deleted them. So the obvious answer to that is when the bomb um, collides with the captain, we delete the bomb as well. And that will work just fine. So um, one thing I don't like down here very much, which I will change now, is um, this check the variable health of a captain is equal to three, delete the captain. This is happening all the time. So every single frame, it comes down here and then checks this. It seems inefficient because we only need to check once the bomb has collided with the captain, because that's the only time this variable will ever change. So I'm gonna pick it up and drag it and make it into a sub event. So this sub event will only happen after this has happened. So the bomb collision with captain, yep, does that. Then, and only then, it will check the health to see whether it's equal to three or not. So we we'll see, should see that that works just exactly the same. Um, and when we've done this, the last thing that we haven't done yet is, I'll, I kind of want to do a health bar thing. So each individual um, 
object has got its own health bar, but that's, that's got its own challenges in doing that. And I want to see if I can get away with doing the easy thing. So one, boom, two, boom, three, and it's gone. So um, I thought what I could get away with probably is my captain here. I'm going to give him an effect. So the effect is going to be a glow effect. It's going to have the name effect, which is a great name. Effect name, you can change that. No, let's just leave it at effect. And uh, I'm going to make him so he doesn't glow to begin with. Um, so zero inner strength, zero outer strength to his glow. Apply that. And what I'm going to do in the event sheet is I'm going to update that. So. Um, as we change the health, add one to the health, delete the bomb, add action, which is going to be our captain. Uh, somewhere down here is effects. Yep, we can uh, change a, an effect parameter. And the effect name, remember, it was called effect. The parameter name is the outer strength, I think I'm going to go with. And the new value. Now, I think what I need to put here is captain dot and somewhere in here is the effects as a variable oh no the new value is the variable isn't it I'm, I'm thinking very slowly here the variable and the variable is called health so the glow will go from zero when we begin to one to two to three so the new value of the um, that outer strength of the glow let's go and have a look at see what that looks like Waiting very patiently for the preview to load. We have to do a lot of that. Right, so here we are. Go up here. See, he is not glowing. He is still not glowing. He is still not glowing. Ah, he was glowing, we just couldn't see it very well. Uh, I will actually just quickly change that so that you can see. Uh, so the captain is effects and it effects I'm going to make it red we couldn't see it because it was kind of a, uh, a a very faint color so apply that get rid of that go again wait patiently again while this happens and while this happens always seems slower when you're standing waiting at it right let's go up here and have a look shall we go over here and again the captain is not glowing so i shoot him bam ah we've got a little bit of glow second shot and a little bit more glow and then third shot and he's gone i quite like that effect i think that works quite well 